Hi, I'm Lauren Boyle, reporting for World Bytes. I'm here with Mervyn Barrett, Communications Manager of NACRO. NACRO is an organisation which supports offenders. Can you tell me a little bit about NACRO and the helpline that you run? We deal with something like 30 to 40,000 inquiries a year. The majority of our calls are from people who have concerns about criminal record check. Could you give us an update of sort of the government proposals for the CRB checks? Because um, supposedly they're meant to be rolling them back, but realistically, how far have they gone? The results of the review are likely to be some cutting back on the number of positions covered by the, the scheme. But that won't solve all the problems. It will still mean that people who've been cautioned or convicted of very minor offences could still face the prospect of being barred. We still have the prospect uh, that people are going to end up being barred on the basis of allegations that have been made against them. I'm dealing with a man at the moment who's been barred He's already been barred despite the postponement of this scheme because he was cautioned for child cruelty. Where do you think? Child cruelty? Well, that, that individual should not be working uh, with children. He's not only been barred from working with children, he's been barred from working with vulnerable adults as well. What happened in his particular case was he chastised his eight-year-old son for being naughty. The um, son in question told this, his school about it the next day and of course the authorities got involved um, and briefly took the son away from the home, put him in foster care. The son kept running home to be with his parents and the authorities eventually understood that that's where the son wanted to be. Yeah. But, but he ha accepted a caution and of course, as a result of that, he, the, he has now been barred from working with children and vulnerable adults. Another case involved a woman who was cautioned for child neglect. Now you think, child neglect, that's pretty serious. Um, but in this particular case, she left her three-year-old son in the care, temporary care of her very responsible 14-year-old son, while she popped to the um, shops. And, and of course the authorities got to hear about it and um, she ended up accepting this caution which meant that she was automatically barred under the scheme from working with children, but not only children, vulnerable adults yeah. as well. So it's interesting that you mention that because I had a similar situation. I've got a friend who um, was taking her daughter on the bus and obviously children being children, um, you know, she was swinging her legs, accidentally kicked the guy next to her and my friend just tapped her on the hand just to say that's naughty, you know, be careful. The guy that she kicked had actually rung the police, reported her, they stopped the bus, evacuated everybody, police got on and arrested my friend and she's now, she now has a five year um, record um, which is a problem because, you know, she's concerned, she wants to go through and do a midwifery course and she's no longer putting herself forward because she's concerned that it's, it's going to impact on her. One of the things that we've noticed over recent years is that large numbers of people are being refused places on childcare courses and uh, um, health education and social care courses on the basis of reprimands that they perhaps picked up as 14 or 15 year old. Um, and I've just been informed that you actually took a phone call prior to this interview of a person who was concerned. Could you explain a little bit about that? Yes, um, the, the person concerned was a 36-year-old who discovered that she was going to have to disclose to her college that she has a conviction as a 15-year-old for actual bodily harm. We're talking about an offence from 21 years ago and she's discovered that she's going to be subject to a criminal record check and of course this um, conviction will show up. It led to a conditional discharge so that's a sign that the offence was considered by the courts to be very minor but nevertheless the college had told her, she's doing a childcare course, she's halfway through it, the college had told her that um, 
unless she has a completely clear um, CRB um, check, um, she will not be allowed to continue the course. Once upon a time, before the existence of cautions, reprimands and final warnings, they would have been dealt with informally. They would have been given a ticking off. The problem with the new system is that if you are given a caution or a reprimand or a final warning, it forms part of a criminal record and it will show up in a criminal record check. Um, and we've got colleges and universities up and down the land um, these days running checks on um, people uh, wanting to do courses and people are being routinely refused places uh, on courses or if they've started the courses being asked to leave those courses. It's happening too often I'm yeah, afraid yeah. Um, and um, it's something that's happening to young people. It's not something that used to happen to young people in, in, in the days before we become so obsessed with criminal record checks. Yeah. I remember many, many years ago um, when the government published figures showing that there was something like 100,000 uh, employment-related child protection checks a year. We couldn't believe it. Then about 15 years ago, the government published figures showing that there was about half a million. Absolute astonishment. Yeah. Uh, you know, as far as we were all concerned, the world had gone mad. Last year, the Criminal Records Bureau alone carried out four million. We uh, are faced with the prospect um, this year of the introduction of the vetting and barring scheme that's going to at the moment result in some nine million people being subject to vetting and barring. So the whole world has changed from, from, from the days when I, I was young. Now what has resulted from all this is that not only is everyone, colleges, universities, employers, volunteer organisations carrying out checks none of us are prepared to, to take chances with anyone who's got a criminal record, no matter how minor, no matter how old, no matter how irrelevant it is. So how does this impact on offenders? Because really, we're talking about ordinary people. Actually, I think there are going to be, over the next few years, tens of thousands of people in very similar circumstances. Something like three quarters of all our calls these days are from people uh, who have concerns about CRB criminal record checks uh, and in particular now the new vetting and barring scheme and um, we expect that the, those figures and that proportion to go on increasing. Thank you for your time Merving. I'm Lauren Boyle, reporting for World Bites.